What's up, guys? Today we're playing uh, Wild Guns Reloaded. It's out today, April 17th, on the Nintendo Switch, and it's at a price of $29.99. That's the same as the PS4 version and everything. Uh, the Steam version is actually $19.99, so if you're just now finding out about this game, you can actually pick it up uh, on uh, Steam as well, and it's, uh, it's a little cheaper. But I did manage to get this game physically from GameStop. Let me grab the box. Uh, they do have physical copies, from what I could tell, exclusively at GameStop. It um, does not appear to be something you can get otherwise, from what I've seen. Otherwise, you can just download it. Uh, the game itself physically doesn't come with much. It's pretty much a bare, uh, bare inside, no manual or anything. It does have like a little bit of reverse cover art there, but it's not like it's not like a massive deal to be honest so if you're having a hard time finding it just know it doesn't really come with any extras or anything but this is based on an older game from the 90s i remember playing it uh, on the super nintendo i rented it and i uh did not like it as a kid because as you're about to see it's pretty difficult uh, even um even now it's pretty hard uh, for a lot of us it is one of those games where like one hit kills you and everything so it's a uh, it's it's a little harder but Let's look through here because we do have display settings where you can change a few things up. You can play around with the aspect ratio. Maybe you want like a 4-3 ratio, uh, the scale. You can also add scan lines. So you can turn this up and you'll get all these scan lines if you want it to be kind of how it was back in like, you know, the old days where you had a CRT monitor that had scan lines um, or just one of the old, yeah, one of the old monitors that you would use or the, I guess, just the old TVs. So has a manual as well. It didn't come with a manual, obviously, but it kind of goes through everything, gives you a few hints. It's only like a three-page manual. Not a lot there. You can also turn on retro sound mode after you beat the game without using any continues, and that's pretty hard. has multiplayer. Up to four people can play on the same screen, so uh, if you have a bunch of people around you, you can play, and uh, single Joy-Con uh, play is also, uh, also available. So there's a lot there to do, uh, but let's jump into single player, and we'll just go through here. You also unlock a boss rush mode, which is time attack after you play a little further in. So, we have a uh, couple characters here. Clint and Annie uh, are well-known. Then we also have Bullet, and then we have Doris. Now, I'll play the first one as Doris. And um, if I die, which I probably will, because, like I said, this game is not easy, uh, I'll switch over to, like, Clint or, or Annie or somebody else. Now, uh, Doris is interesting. She actually throws bombs instead of shooting guns. So, she, she just bombs everything. She is definitely like the damage dealer so if you and your friends are playing um whoever picks her is going to be pretty much in charge of dealing a lot of damage while others may be in charge of like crowd control for example so i'll punch him uh but yeah she can throw bombs she can also charge her bombs up which is cool so let me uh let me see if i get a chance here because i i'm getting shot now at by people i'll actually use it on this guy here um so i can charge my bombs up so i can throw multiples like that <laughs> So I just threw three bombs at once at him. Um, it, it works well for, again, dealing damage, and uh, that's mostly her job. So if you have other people playing, and uh, they can crowd control while you can do the damage to bosses and everything, or even just multiple characters like that. So she has, like, an ability to, to have, like, she can shoot lightning when she jumps, and you th hit the attack button, which is cool. You can do, like, this little lightning strike like that, and it does seem to affect bullets if you do it at the right time. So she's, she's pretty strong, but she is definitely there to do damage, first and foremost. <laughs> she's not very agile, as you can see. Um, she, doesn't, she doesn't jump very high or move quickly, but she does quite a bit of damage. So this is basically what you're seeing here is most of the game. You go to screens, and, you, um, and it's basically a shooter where you are kind of moving your cursor around. There's a boss. Let's see if we can take him out. Ugh. Oh, man, he got me there. You also have, like, those big stage clearing, um, like, level clearing uh, abilities where you can... Basically, she throws a big bomb. I'm actually going to use that on a little lasso. You throw lassos to make them slower, as you see there, where I can now kind of light them up like that. The lassos are good for bosses or, like, bigger characters that deal a lot of damage. And uh, to do that, you just hit the, uh, the attack button three times. And then you can kind of throw it like that. Um, so it's a nice little thing to have uh, kind of ready to go. So let's... It, this is a scoring based game so of course you want to do a lot of scoring um and that's the interesting thing is the continues if you do have to use a continue they don't count your score anymore at all like for the uh, online stuff probably a good idea actually oh no i jumped right into the fire probably a good idea actually since you can obviously keep playing the continues are good um they'll of course start you back at the beginning of whatever level you're on not whatever instance you're on so where i'm kind of past the first boss if i die they will put me back to um to the beginning of this level, not necessarily, ooh, there we go. 
Not necessarily like where I am now, but like before that first boss I just fought. It'll put me there. So let's keep going through here. We're going to try to power through, hopefully, uh, this this first couple stages because I do have um, the final boss after this on this stage. Then we'll get to like a level select where we can kind of pick uh, different levels. And if I die there, then I'll pick somebody different. So how about that? <laughs> hopefully I get through this okay, though. Uh, she's pretty good for, for kind of single player use, but it gets harder when you get to some of the levels where there is a lot more going on. And there, here's the, here's the boss here. Let's just kind of rain down bombs on him and try to stop him before he can do any real damage to me. Is when he shoots, he, yeah, see, he shoots quick. He's like, uh, I guess, quick draw or something there. So we hit him. I'm actually going to charge some bombs up and hit him with them. All of them. There we go. <laughs> Basically, the best way to deal with him, from what I've seen, is to uh, just deal a lot of damage to him a lot with her. Because she can pretty much carpet bomb him, essentially. So there we go. Now we're going to get to... Um, this boss here, and I actually only have one life, so that's gonna work out great, I'm sure. Um, let's, I'm actually just gonna pretty much power through with most of my big, like, bombs like that. Just try to get rid of him quickly, because he can get kinda out of control, to be honest. Uh, oh no, oh no, there we go, okay, oh no. He can get, he can get pretty crazy, so I'm gonna try to... Him with, oh, he ducked the, wow, he ducked the lasso, that's rude. Oh, man, that's a truck, that's a truck. Oh, he, he slammed a truck on me, though. Like, what is that about? Throw a big bomb at him. I'm trying to get rid of him, he is, like, living right now. Oh, he ducked that again, great. There we go, okay. So we got him, uh, blew up his head, as you see there. I was actually on my last life, too, so he was doing some damage to me. Um... <laughs> But we got through them, so we should be able to get to the level select screen now. Uh, and you can see, it's kind of like set up like a Mega Man level select screen. So you have like several different ones you can pick from. Um, you have four to, to, to get into right away. And of course you'll get your score here. So there we go. Uh, 117,000, you get a one up. For, uh, for doing that and everything. Now, we're going to play a little more here. I'm going to pick a level. We'll play some of it. And then I'll also jump you guys over to handheld mode so you can take a look at that. Let's jump into this guy. This is, uh, what is this? The gold mine. So we'll jump into gold mine and see how that, how that plays out. And if I die, I'll do a continue because I only have one life left anyway. Uh, I'll do a continue and I'll get a different character so you can see how they play. Um, cause they play vastly different than her. I will say that. Like, she is way different than a lot of the, uh, the other people that you'll play as. Oh, wow. Jeez. There's a, oh, I, I missed that up top. There's a, uh that guy up there. You can, yeah, you can throw that back as well, the, um, oh, okay, okay. Got it, yes. Oh, oh, nice, I knocked him back. <laughs> right at the, right at the last minute there. Oh, look out, look out. Oh, I'm down. So what I'll do now is we'll, we'll change over to somebody else so you can see how, uh, someone else plays. We'll do that now. I think I'm gonna pick, uh, maybe Clint. He's, like, the, the person that most people, I think, pick in the beginning. So we'll jump over and pick Clint. And you can just see how much different he plays than her. Um, he has like a uh, like a rapid fire, so he can constantly shoot. And um, if you're playing with other people, somebody would be him to kind of crowd control, sort of. And then Doris, of course, is there for the bigger targets like that uh, that big uh, ship that was above me. So you can see he's good for crowd control. Like he'll he'll basically just start taking everybody out, um, especially the smaller guys like that. He's very good at uh, taking out smaller guys. Whereas she would definitely be used to take out the bigger guy. Oh, no. The bigger guys. And it does get, as you can see, it gets a little crazy as you play along, as you go along, too. Oh, no, I missed him. Uh, you can also roll out of the way and everything. I, I found this a little easier when I was playing with people as opposed to when I was playing by myself. Definitely, I think it's a little easier to play with other people. Because you have, uh, obviously you can kind of work together and take people out. He has a single lasso, now I'm looking at it. Oh, look out. Look out. Let me get that. Okay, I hit the attack button. You, yeah, it's just, you can gotta see it's just getting out of control right now. <laughs> oh, look out. Dodged it. Nice, there we go. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Oh, no, look out! <laughs> I keep looking down and just seeing it just in time. Oh, man. Get out of the way. We got him. Okay. Okay. Get that goal. I think that's just the points. There's the boss. There we go. 
Yeah, get him, get him, get him, get him. Look out. Look out. Use the little explosion there to take him down. Yeah, got him. Yay. <laughs> we took him out. So that's uh, first boss there. Then, of course, we move on to another. I'm going to stop there for you guys, and we're going to jump over to handheld mode so you can see it. Everything runs well. Like, it's it's a good running game, as we'd expect. It's not like a super demanding game, but uh, it runs great. Uh, it's a very fun game. It definitely gives you that nostalgic feel. So if you liked Wild Guns back in the day, this is an easy pickup, especially if you have people you can play with. Or, if you're again, if you're just looking for, like, a co-op, couch co-op game that's a lot of fun, very arcade -y. Uh, it's a good time. It's worth, I think it's worth 30 bucks if, if you're a big fan of these type of games where everybody can kind of sit down and play together. But, uh, that's it for here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy some of the handheld footage and I'll see you next time.